Despite countless warnings from officials to evacuate, many residents choose to stay and wait out the storm. This morning, our John Keller explains why he thinks those people are wrong. Good morning. We haven't seen anything like it in years. A massive hurricane headed straight for the heavily populated east coast of Florida. And public officials aren't mincing their words. Florida Governor Rick Scott has called for mass mandatory evacuations, underlining the danger of 150 mile per hour winds and widespread power outages with this blunt warning, quote, this storm will kill you. But if you live in the path of this monster, who are you going to believe? Every media meteorologist and public safety expert or Vanilla Ice, who tweeted from his Florida home yesterday, quote, this hurricane is serious and coming right at me. I'm going to ride out the storm. I'll keep you updated, end quote. Well, thanks, Vanilla, for nothing. Studies show that 5% of a threatened population routinely ignores the evacuation warnings. In 2012, frustrated New Jersey officials asked residents who refused to evacuate ahead of Hurricane Sandy to jot down their social security numbers on their arms with magic marker so their bodies could be identified later. Well, hopefully that won't be necessary in the wake of Hurricane Matthew. But the refusal to evacuate tells a broader story about public attitudes toward government in particular and authority in general. If you're the type of skeptic who believes government never tells the truth, it's easy to persuade yourself that it's okay to ignore their warnings. And in a culture that seems to value personal convenience and ego gratification over common sense and the common good, no wonder so many will casually risk their lives and those of rescue personnel just to scratch their itch. A better idea, as Vanilla Ice once put it, stop, collaborate, and listen. Talk back to me and Vanilla Ice at Keller at WBZTV.com or use Twitter at Keller at Large.